like nine levels of fucked up. What? Is this like some sort of revenge for you? Is that why you did it? Yes. Hi everybody, welcome back to Doll's Eye. Um, today we're playing Her Story. This should be part two. Um, I kind of went into a synopsis of what I think happened last time at the end of last video. But basically, uh, this is about a murder case um, where Simon, who uh, the murder case of Simon, I forgot their last name, Simon Smith, I think, is dead. He's dead and they're trying to figure out who murdered him. And I'm guessing... This, well, we're not guessing. The one who murdered him is the lady in these videos. Um, but we're going through all these um, tapes, uh, parts of a tape, and went through keywords, um, and trying to piece the whole story together. And it's turning out to be a lot deeper than we originally assumed. Um, Hannah's a twin. Uh, there's some drama with miscarriages and stealing babies and raising them as your own. Um, and then twins switching, uh, getting pregnant, miscarriages, cheating affairs, Simon's kind of a dick bag, I guess, for cheating, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So, let's keep going. I just looked up miscarriage. We watched these two. Um, now we're gonna watch the others. No. I lost the baby. I had a miscarriage at eight months. Eight months. We carried on living at Simon's parents until, but it was only a few months after. Eight months. Oh, also, this this person keeps showing on the screen. I don't I don't know what that's about. Then my parents died. It was the worst year of my life. I can imagine. The miscarriage and then my parents. Yeah. Hannah had a miscarriage. This was late in the pregnancy and it left her infertile. But like the universe said, correct. Don't it. smile. Don't smile. You are a lion to care. No. That's horrible. But Hannah and Simon were still living with his parents. They were married. Simon had a job at the Glaciers now. Eric had given him the full-time position after he left school. And then... Why do the police lights keep happening? No, he doesn't keep diary. That's my thing. I've kept one, well, as long as I can remember, since I was a girl. It helps make sense of my day. And when you're forced to put something into words, it gives you perspective. Everyone's on the same page. Suspicious. Um, when I was eight, Mother died. Oh! She slipped down the stairs. Oh! It was an accident. Are you sure? I read a diary at that point and I knew she wasn't my real mother. So I burned the diary that day and I left. Walked out and across the street. It's all that matters really, the baby. Simon's dead, but the baby, that's how he will live on. It's not baby. your baby, though. You're not the one that got pregnant. That's horrible. This is this is traumatic. It was supposed to be a secret. Just because Simon is dead it doesn't mean I have to give up all his secrets. It doesn't have anything to do with what happened to Simon. No one murdered my husband because he cheated his expenses for a romantic weekend in Oxford. I, I don't know how Dad came up with that one. Rehearsed? You ask me the same question, you'll get the same answer. Is that your evidence? Of course I thought about what happened then. It's all I thought about. My husband is dead. Uh... 
Oh, God. We spent the wedding night in a hotel in Brighton. It would have been too much to do more. We were sing for the baby. It was wonderful to be in a hotel, away from home, just alone together. I can imagine. Since then, we've always tried to get away for our holiday. I hope I can look up these ones by user tag. We couldn't afford our own place. Simon dropped out of school, went full time at the Glaciers. That was Eric's generosity. Thanks, Eric. We moved in with his mum and dad. They had a spare room for us and the baby if it came. It was a nice change. Time to myself, living there for those months, full of hope. This is like nine levels of fucked up. So while you were going and living your best life, pregnant with your hubby, your sis, your twin sister is suffering trying to get pregnant just so she you guys can pretend to be the same person it was after dinner i had spoken to Sam's parents on the phone i looked up for an early night and i suddenly had this thought i think it was something his mother said she'd been speaking about old stuff sad stuff about when we lived there the baby. There's some boxes in the cellar, nursery stuff, stuff we never needed, and I never had the heart to throw out. And I suddenly remembered that when I'd looked down there the week before, those boxes, that pile was in the wrong place. I went cold all over. I went down there with a torch and went straight to the back and that's when I saw the bin bags. Pulled them open, saw the body. I screamed and that's when I called the police. Okay, I lost my pencil so it's fine. Um, hmm. Okay. Oh, uh, I can't spell orange. Long hair, though. Yes. I keep giving her water. It was a shock to him. Did they, did they fingerprint I mean, I her? It was possible. I don't know what he... I mean, I hadn't decided whether to keep the baby. I wasn't really ready to talk to him about it. I guess you could call it that, but we were both, both happy to get married. It was a beautiful wedding. <laughs> we had our first dance to come back and stay. I'm not sure if that's a good wedding song, but I loved it. I chose it. I mean, it was genuinely our first dance. We'd never danced together before. It was probably awful to watch, but I enjoyed it. Could your sister even go to your wedding? For that moment. Just the See, you just keep saying that, and that's like super important to you. And I'm beginning to think that you never wanted to live the double edged life. Yeah. We were 17. Married 17, it was 10 a nice years. Wedding, people said. 17. Simon looked very handsome in the photos. See, she's looking at it as if in the, in the child, past. So it was important to them. Like, as if she wasn't there. It was what they called a shotgun wedding. But if you looked at the photos, you couldn't tell. The dress was beautiful. It looked like Princess Diana's. <laughs> the train wasn't quite as long, though. There's a great photo of the bridesmaid helping to carry it out of the car. <laughs> the gnat is back and it's bothering me. <laughs> When beautiful people died, I always felt like it was a sign. You remember Princess Grace? Grace Kelly? She died in a car crash the year before we met Simon. We used a Ouija board to speak to her, and that gave us the power to find him. A Ouija? That's, then, That's the second time I see a Ouija. That people who died tragically leave some kind of magic behind. Oh. We used to share dreams. 
We used to wake up and write them down in our diaries immediately and compare them. There were always princes and princesses. They were the special people, more important than the other characters in their stories. We knew we were like that. Twins, magical. We were the princesses. We had a poster of Princess Diana from the newspaper up in our attic. I had pride of place. And underneath we used to put all our special things. When her engagement was announced, we were obsessed with everything she did. And later, when her life went so bad, we fell for her. Mm. Her divorce last year just kind of drew a line under things. Twins. <laughs> really? Are you really asking me that question? Yes. I'm gonna put black. Cause I already have a blue. I have two blues. I could have a navy. Twins. Curly, what else do you think? It happened very quickly. We hardly had to talk to each other. We agreed almost silently. The baby was what mattered. We'd help each other. We cleaned up. We bagged up the broken mirror, her clothes. They're gone. We took him down to the cellar. We knew I, we had an alibi and we wanted the body to be found later. We wanted to have suspicion on us so we could then disprove it rather than have it linger. Better to keep the body in the house than risk being seen with it. The watch, that was my touch to make sure the alibi stuck. I brought up more. Nothing else happened that night. We talked, then I said goodbye. Then next week I was sitting in the bar again and there he was. And again the next week, he offered to buy me a meal. I told them I had already eaten um, and so we got chips and ate on the beach instead. When we said goodbye, he asked me to kiss him. <laughs> Romantic. What? Is this like some sort of revenge for you? Is that why you did it? Yes. I thought about telling Hannah. I felt guilty after the kiss. No, you didn't. But then it began to feel like this was the way it should be. Sharing. Like we had before. He never mentioned her to me. Oh, no. There was the Simon with me. And the Simon with her. No! It was almost like it was a different sign. Ew! But... After the kiss, the next time, he took me back to the house. To our parents' house. To their house. So, it was definitely him. <laughs> I sometimes think he wanted to get caught to prove to himself that we were different people. He told me about his marriage, told me how his wife was completely different to me. <laughs> I almost burst out laughing. Oh, God. There we go. Are you sure? What would he be doing in Oxford if there was no conference? I remember calling him. He said it was boring and he spent most of the time at the bar. So I moved out. Moved out. Got a small bed set. Oh, so you finally decided to become your Got own person. To mark the occasion. Right, so this is before the meeting. the bar in the evenings. So I had some money, enough money to cover my rent. 
and I've been doing something similar ever since. Until... I haven't put down any roots. I'm in. Fuck everything. I don't exist. Girlie, oh... I feel like you should have just come clean or something. There must be some way for you to, to get a... He saw me singing. One of my shows. Pure chance. Not sure I remember what he was even Bruh, doing. Bruh, he definitely had a type. Afterwards, I had a drink at the bar and he came <sighs> over and we got talking. I knew who he was. Obviously I knew who he was. But... He didn't know who I was. He was fascinated by the likeness. He guessed my name from my tattoo. <laughs> Told me it was a palindrome, like that would impress me. I enjoyed talking to him. It was amazing to be able to sit and interact and talk to him after all this time. He didn't tell me he was married. I'm not sure what he was thinking. He later told me it was like he was dreaming. A waking dream. Oh god, I feel like pity and like extreme dislike to you. No. I told her it was one of my boyfriends. Someone I had met in the bar. I think she was happy, but I could tell she was thinking, why couldn't it happen to her and Simon? Little did it know, it was also Simon. Simon, Simon. One of them. Oh god, the resentment is super clear here. You just wanted to ruin her life a little bit. Because she ruined your whole life. Because your life didn't exist because... Oh, I have... I have so many feelings about this. <laughs> no, I'm not done, actually. Don't, don't bother me right now. <laughs> I want to find everything. <laughs> van! What happened to the van? No? Oh, I... I have found so much though. Fucking the cavalier. There we go. I wasn't in the house all of Friday night. After the argument, after Sam left, I left too. I was upset and I wanted to get away. So I took a car. I left the next day, Saturday. I slept for a few hours in the car. And when I woke up, I came straight back. Uh, Simon wasn't returning my calls and I wanted to try and make up. I got back to the house and Simon wasn't there. And I... Is there a bin? Oh, was your hair down and you put it up after you threw up? I see. Yeah, I pulled over and slept in the car. This was just by the side of the road. I was exhausted. Running out of words here. Aha! Uh -huh. Thanks. Please find Simon. I love him so much. End of any of you. So she first. So she first. She first. No, I mean he was. So she loves first Simon. reported him so as missing, and then found nice his dead body. To everyone. He loves me. He cheated on you. He doesn't love you. Cheater. Cheaters do not love you. Okay. He cheated on you, and he did not love you. You might have been very genuine at first. 
The motherfucker was a Jeez. fucking ass. You must love them very much. What ages are they? I got a job to contribute, you know. Doug knew someone and I got a job as a dinner lady at the primary school. Hmm. Lunch Does lady. If I could cook or not, just don't poison the kids. So you see, it's always been complicated between me and Simon. It's never just been the two of us. There's always been pressure. Yeah, because there's a person... Ugh. Because you're, you're, you're literally, oh God, I can't. Well, there you go. How many kids? Oh my God. Lady, he's just doing an interview. No, no one has been in the last few weeks. We had a plumber come in three, four weeks ago. Someone summoned you from the rock. Oh, is it a church? God, I don't know. Oh, is that actually outside? I guess the rock. You've spoken to everyone there. Someone must have seen where he went. I don't know. So many things could have gone wrong. How about church? It sounds like you guys go to church. Yeah. Let me see. Yes. I drove in here because I remember well, I went over the river. And then there was a church. There. Yeah. And I probably part well I remember seeing a street sign called Princess Street. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure it must be this one. There. Okay. You oh. got me. I'll confess. We were there. It was a dirty weekend. Simon was going to expense it, pretend it was a business trip. I used a made up name. We stayed at the hotel, had room service, didn't leave the room, had a great view of the river, and you could take the church. Down. Simon and Eve, horrible people. You're and all said, horrible people. We were very romantic. No! It's disgusting. Oh God. This makes me, this makes me upset in a way. Very upset. He has a wallet, a huge silly thing. Leather, real leather, I think. He packs it full of stuff, business cards, receipts, lottery tickets. He always carries it in his back pocket. I think that's why he's got a bad back. He sets the discs. Actually, someone told me that I one. I haven't seen it, so he must have it on him. He always takes it out of his back pocket before when he comes in, if he's in the house. Dang, see? That's an attitude shift. Before, she was about to say something else when he comes in the house. Uh, what? <laughs> Oh, you think? No. I'm not sure what strange would be, but he hasn't been acting odd. He's been busy at work, but nothing too stressful. What about us? <laughs> There's no couple stuff. A stupid argument. Nothing specific. No one knows how to push your buttons better than those you're close to. Ah, uh, you would know! You're- <laughs> You're very close to- No. I mean, yes, we have arguments, but... No, he never runs off. He always comes back. We make up. It's always that way. Yes. He left after the argument. It was about... 8 o'clock. Yeah. I've been round to Doug and Eleanor's and they're very worried. I feel sorry for them. Doug and Eleanor as the parents, I'm guessing? Edward's parents? Or Simon Edward? Sorry. 
sorry, the picture, the way it's drawn, just reminded me of the books we used to read as children. I read those fairy tales over and over, and they were so real to me. Rapunzel was my favourite. My brain is just full of it. Ah, oh, someone's texting me. Directing oh, me. He's in colour. Why did they bring those out? Are they just doing a bunch of tests? Did it pass? Sorry, I messed it up with all that Rapunzel stuff. Do you need me to do that card again? No, no, I think they got what they want. Get a bit lie detector. I'll put lie. Lie. Yes, my name is Hannah Smith. Oh, shit. Sorry. Didn't I know I just... I must have. I've never taken a lie detector test before. Does it really work? Yeah, it did for you anyway. Well, a week or so ago. It would have been the Saturday before my birthday. You know, I get like that on the weekends, have a lie in, then want to get up. Maybe I should have gone by time instead of by clothes. Uh, you guys are just watching me. Try to yes. watch all of it. I'll take a lie detector test. Yeah. My name. That was the only question I failed. Yeah. <laughs> the lie detector works. That is so scary, man. Imagine if you keep just like, Google that first. Ah. I was living in the attic. It was a fairy. Didn't I, did I already look up attic? I was depressed. Was still pretty sick of the STD. When I came down one morning, they were dead. Yeah. They were in bed and both had been sick. They'd thrown up, not. And I'd slept through it. The police said it was mushrooms they ate. Dad was a mushroom expert. He, he used to take us picking with him and he taught us how to recognize them. And there's no way you would have picked that caps. But the police believe that's what happened. They never even looked in the attic. Did you kill your parents? Okay. There's a girl and she's staring out of the window. She's sad. She's trapped. She's here. She's looking out the window because her mother won't let her out. Oh my god, girly. That's so sad. Did a picture test? Well. She has a knife. Mm. Uh, um, she's been cooking. I guess she's been cooking him his favorite meal. Um, she's his wife. Um, he's asleep and she doesn't want to wake him because he's ill. That's why she's sad. Because he's ill and he might die. I have a sad story, so I'm not sure how it ends. <laughs> what the fuck? She's crying, I guess. He died? She's sad because she thought she saw her husband with another woman. Yes, he was. But it's okay because she finds out it wasn't her husband, it was his brother. And so it's fine. Wishing he had a twin brother, huh? So you guys could just have the same guy. That would have been convenient. We were obsessed with fairy tales. Yeah, I know. Not just the pretty, pretty ones, but the traditional ones. They were dark and real. 
bizarre and violent. It felt like life. We had this huge old book that I think Mum must have bought from a library sale. The illustrations had thin tracing paper over them to protect them. They were in colour, shiny plates. At the front of the book was an index of illustrations. We read that more than the actual stories. We'd read aloud the captions and flip between the pictures. There was something intimate about peeling back the tracing paper and dressing the pictures. Rapunzel's hair is cut. The eagle plucks out his heart. The princess pricks her finger. Oh, that, I mean, that one. Um, I sleep on the right side of the bed as you come in from the door. You can tell because I have two pillows and he just has one. Simon was very moral about that sort of thing. He wouldn't just walk out there and sleep with anyone. He wasn't that kind of guy. Ah, uh, he cheated on his wife. His marriage very seriously. With, with you. With you. He literally cheated with you. <clears throat> yes. The first time we saw each other, it was strange. We both realized at the same moment, I think. We must have seen each other before, but there was this instant when we first realized it wasn't a reflection. I kind of, I'm sure reflection, reflection won't bring anything in. Oh, was staring back. Might as well put that in there, too. I think I was five. It was my birthday. My birthday, too. My reflection was wearing a party hat and waving. I knew what party hats were from books. So your, mo your mother tried so hard to steal you, but she never Today even... She didn't even celebrate with I you. I waved back and we just spent ages waving at each other. And like she couldn't even... Each other's even Mother Gothel did better than that in the Disney about the real Mother Gothel. I did. Well, we met when we were 17, both working at the glaciers. Ah. Yes, that's my birthday. Not one of the big ones, but I guess you can see that. It was my birthday, like you said. We were going to have a meal at home. We had our meal. He gave me his present. I guess I didn't like the present. The mirror? The mirror? From when I woke up. Okay. Okay. It was a birthday. I, uh, I woke up. Simon was already up and he made me birthday breakfast of eggs benedict. Uh, we both had to go to work so we saved presents to later. I like a present. Um, I got to work, had some birthday cake, children sang me happy birthday, then I came home. The birthday meal was a takeaway um, and Simon gave me his present which I didn't mind. And after that, we talked about the baby. It turned into a big argument. Simon left, I was furious. I wanted to get as far away as I could and get some space to think. So I left. Mm. Mother wanted me to grow my hair long, but I kept cutting it myself. I wanted to look like my reflection. She always had short hair when she was little. Mother would hide the scissors, but I would find a way. Cut it with a bread knife, something like that. You cannot cut hair with a bread knife. My reflection Can you? would always leave her house and go on adventures, but I never could. Mother taught me at home, and I had books and TV. Your mother TV was, was magical, abusive as fuck. But it was only on when it wanted to be, so I spent a lot of time reading books. Abusive as fuck. I wanted to see my reflection. Mm. You did? I thought that if I touched her, something would happen. Illusion dance? Maybe? <laughs> we would become one. Yeah. One girl. Oh. That's so... The fairy tale was over. The witch was dead. 
The witch was exploring. You were like a shadow. Mm. Back eight years back. It was a present to myself. I shouldn't even be drinking coffee with the baby. It's been hard trying to give it up. I think they say you can have one cup. Yeah. If you... I think you could have... It's basically, don't have anything in excess. I think the only thing you really shouldn't dr do drink is like... No, I just, I think you shouldn't smoke at all. Smoking or vaping, you probably shouldn't do at all. You probably could have like a glass of wine, but nothing more. Um, and then like, like I said, it's like a little, little things of, of small, small things, you know? Nothing crazy. Ooh! I didn't. I slept in the car. I left about nine that night. And I wasn't there. Oh, Nat, leave me alone, please. I, like, killed three of you guys yesterday. No, it's okay. The other detective has just gone to get me off. Hmm. Where is Hannah? My sister is gone. Oh. And she's never coming back. Suicide? Suicide? No. I mean, he would never do anything like that. He is not the kind of person to do anything like that. I mean, to hurt himself. No. Oh, wow. This might be the one. Hurt someone? Yes. But anyone thinks that from time to time, right? You just want to lash out. They said it was food poisoning. There was something in the food they ate. My dad liked to pick mushrooms, grow them too. They said it was the mushrooms. It was hard to believe. Death caps. They have a skirt around the cap. My dad taught me that. But, I mean, the police had no reason to think it was suspicious. They lived alone. You're fucking... Had any reason Sister to killed them. Sister killed them. That you could move back in, dude. Otherwise, I I I, I see no reason why Please. you would have moved in. Oh yeah, no, it's nothing. I was going through the top cupboard in my kitchen, and the chair slipped, and I kind of hit the door with my face. <laughs> I mean, hurt like hell. Because <laughs> your sister hit you. Is that it? That's it. I mean, I don't know. Something must have happened to him on his way home. He could be hurt. I mean, why hasn't he phoned? I just, I don't know. No. The whole thing was wrong. The bags, I... I think they were from our kitchen. You can probably check that. Going to the cellar. It's just a place we put things we don't need. My dad used to grow mushrooms there. The, the bags were taped up. I think it was parcel tape, but I think it was ours. This is so crazy. That can't be right. In the bedroom. Hmm. In the bedroom. Okay. I parked up in the street. It was busy, so I had to park down the end of the road. I walked up, knocked on the door, no answer. I took my keys out of my bag and unlocked the door. The main lock was unlocked. You can tell because the key doesn't turn when you try to turn it to the left. I walked in, Simon's coat wasn't on the peg. I couldn't see his shoes in the shoe rack. I shouted out. Um, I walked straight into the kitchen because he usually sits in there to have a cup of tea and read his paper. But he wasn't there. I touched the kettle. It you was touched cold. the kettle? Wow. I looked quickly in the living room. Nothing. So I walked upstairs to the bedroom and he wasn't there. I didn't search for him because it was pretty clear he wasn't there. I had a shower. The phone rang whilst I was in the shower. I didn't answer it. I think it was Eric. Then I was just exhausted. So I lay down on the bed. 
uh, and sleep, though I didn't mean to. I woke up a couple of hours later and I was surprised to see no one in the bed next to me. And then I remembered where I was and what had happened. That's when Eric called again. This time I spoke to him. Then I called Bug and Elena. And then I decided to come and see you. Done enough? You're so tired. <sighs> okay. Um, you interviews this. I parked up on the street. It was busy, so I parked down the end of the road. I walked up to the house. I knocked on the door. No answer. I took my keys out of my bag, unlocked the door. The main lock was unlocked. I could tell because the key wouldn't turn when I tried to turn it to the left. I walked in. Simon's coat wasn't on the peg. I couldn't see his shoes on the shoe rack. Um, I shouted oh, out. Oh, it's like she's listing off a, a list. The kitchen. He usually sits in there to have a cup of tea and read his paper. He wasn't there. I touched the kettle. Oh. It was cold. Um, I looked quickly into the living room. Nothing. I walked upstairs to the bedroom. He wasn't there. I didn't search for him because it was pretty clear he wasn't there. Totally and different attitude. I had a shower. Whilst I was in the shower, the phone rang. I think it was Eric, his boss. I didn't answer it. Then I came out and I was just exhausted. So I lay down on the bed and I fell asleep, but I didn't mean to. I woke up a couple of hours later and I was surprised to see no one in the bed next to me. Yeah, that's eerie, and then girly. I remembered where I was and what had happened. That's, that's eerie. When Eric called again. I spoke to him. Then I called Simon's parents. And then I decided to come and see you. That enough? Is e the way you guys had it so down? Well, fine. Considering. I got back into the house today, and that was weird, knowing your people have been there through my things. It's like I've been burgled. I mean, worse, obviously. I don't know. Is that got the empty? Yet. They sent a cleaner in. As good as new, he said. But they had to throw some stuff out. Couldn't get the blood out. And I'm still waiting to hear from the coroner so we can get a date set for the funeral. It's going to be a cremation. So. No, not drugs. I mean, he drinks, but never very much. He goes to the pub and has one or two. Sometimes we go together. He drinks wine with food, but nah, he doesn't have any kind of drinking problem. God, I don't know. Could be anyone. Maybe someone follows him back from the pub. No, okay. Kelly. But why would he let him It's you. Well, not you, because you're it's the one that's okay. pregnant. You're Eve. Good. Happy. I mean, ups and downs like any couple, I guess, but we've been married for over 10 years. <clears throat> yes, this is it. He made it himself. It's a special one off. No, it's not. He made it. He decorated it. That's his thing. Where do you find it? Oh, beginning of the interview. This is a nice of them. This is where you take people when it's time to arrest them. <laughs> oh, so much for arrest. Like I said, I think I was popping out to get something. Ran out of something, had to grab something. I sometimes drive too fast. If you want, you can arrest me for that. <laughs> can I leave? No. Are you going to arrest me? No. They'd laugh you out of the building. A lawyer would make mincemeat of you. Then get a fucking lawyer. I I don't understand why you you stayed here for so fucking long. Yes. No lawyer. What are you going to arrest me for? Can you arrest someone who doesn't exist? Oh God. Okay. I've given blood before. Do you need to take that few records? And 
Interesting. The bruise. Thank you. I have a really fast metabolism, so stuff like that just comes and goes. Touch the wrong side of your face. I don't know if there's much more that I can tell you, but I haven't already told the other policemen. I found the body. I... When will the police let me back in the house? They let me take a bag of clothes with me, but... <laughs> I don't know how much you guys of this are you going to even see. This is just me silently going through videos and watching in quiet. I don't even know if I'll even show you all the videos. Ah, oh, I'm too. I really want to find everything. Uh, this is triggering my my obsessive like urge to to know. I'm just looking at random words at this point. Oh, there you go. No, they were shut. Most of the windows are really hard to open anyway. It's stifling in summer. They were painted over by my dad. They left a door open accidentally. Oh. There's a cat flap in the back door. Are you arresting me? No. Fuck off. Ooh, she angry. Ah. His body. It didn't look real. And his throat. Like his throat had been cut. Uh, yeah, you did it. And I didn't see his glasses. There's these thick glasses. Playing with her wedding ring. It doesn't always wear. And his throat. Like I said before, it was three, something like that. I walked in, saw Simon. He was on the floor of the living room. God. His throat had been cut. There was a lot of blood. Instead. At the time they said it was poison, food poisoning. I mean, I felt so guilty. If I'd still been at home, maybe I could have done something. I didn't. I thought it made me sound suspicious. It's not a normal thing to do to drive to the other end of the country. I just, no, I wanted to keep it simple. I know it was stupid not to tell you everything. Saying I spent the night in Glasgow when my husband went missing, I thought it would, you know, distract you from what was important. It's different now. Now he's... No. Everyone loved Simon. He's a glazier, he doesn't have much money. I mean, I don't know. Mm. I don't know. We loved our cat, Domino. Uh, he had this little bell around his neck to stop him from killing birds in the garden. And we used to write each other notes and put them in the bell and we'd get sent them to each other. Mum found some of the notes once and she thought I was just writing to myself because our handwriting was identical. And we had our own words for things, so she didn't quite understand them anyway. Yeah, when I was at school, I worked part-time in the front shop. It was sort of an extended family thing. My dad used to work there, my mum worked there before I was born. Uh, I took care of paperwork, filing, typing out invoices, that kind of thing. And it was a good job for a girl back then. I didn't work a till or anything, though. I was quite shy, so I wouldn't have liked to have worked a till. I would have been a good mother. I was young, but I would have been a good mother. She was a girl, by the way, the baby. Mm. We were going to call her Sarah. Oh! Simon wanted to call her Ava after his nana, but I didn't want her to have a symmetrical name. Oh. The 
that seemed like that was a curse for you guys. Well, she wasn't my real mother, but she raised me. Do you want to hear the story? Yeah. It's a real life fairy tale. I know, yeah. Pretty depressing rather than a fairy tale. And the glaciers. I worked there some weekends and someone had a part time job there too. That was Eric's generosity. He was always good at helping out other people's children. Simon was quiet, more thoughtful than the other boys. Even then, he had a sense of craftsmanship. He wasn't always rushing stuff. Boys that age are just running around like headless chickens most of the time. You know? Plus, he had that look. He looked like a fairy tale prince from one of my books. Ooh. Simon never cheated on me. He did. He was devoted to me. And I was devoted to him. He did cheat on you. With you. He cheated on you with you. Your life is easy. We were good to each other. Life isn't a fairy tale. No. You do what you can. I wouldn't say that. It could be passionate. It's just... It was more than that. It wasn't just sex like I had been with the other boys. Um, I hoover my dust every week. I mean, maybe less. I once asked Eleanor how often I should dust, and she said, if people ask, tell them you do it once a week. But every few weeks it's okay. I think she was just trying to make me feel better. I mean, when I was there, she was hoovering every day. In a ran an audit house. You know how that generation is putting on a brave front. Hmm. There she is has nothing in that cut. Doug doesn't even know she smokes. When I was there, I saw her. She has these sort of porcelain vases, ornamental, next to the Reader's Digest books. Cigarettes inside. And she still has them. I mean, last time I was there, I looked in a vase. There was a fresh pack. <laughs> I mean, all those years of marriage, and she still has a secret like that. Uh, honey, yeah, that's not comparable to your secret at all. At all. When we weren't together, we'd send secret messages by tapping out a code that we'd learned from a book. The knock code. Something prisoners of war would use. We tap them out on radiator pipes or the attic floor. Oh, I wonder what this code is. It's on forever now. parents had a cat before they died called Domino. Domino! It was this little black thing with white dots. And we never did anything about the cat flap, but if you were thin, you could maybe squeeze through it. I, how am I missing every single one right here? That's astounding. What a, what's the key word? Sure, I think. I do all the bills and paperwork and handle all the money stuff, so should be easy for me to find. Do you want them dropped off to you? Oh god. Oh, I'm sorry. The this this gnat thing is is bugging me to a degree. You it's so annoying. A mobile phone? Yeah. Well, they have one for the glaciers, but it's only for work. I can't remember the number. Hmm. Oh, it's in the kitchen. I saw it plugged into its charging cradle. Sure, yes, of course, if that would help. Will you phone the house to let me know when you want to come round? Then I can make sure that I'm there. I don't see how it's hard. We've established I was in Glasgow when he was killed. You've spoken with the hospital. When you've been married for 10 years, stuff accumulates. We could argue about anything. 
and he's so nice. That doesn't help. He tries to smooth things over and that just makes it worse. We're both passive aggressive, so we never normally argue directly about anything. Mm. You must be desperate for leads if you're getting hung up over six month old speeding tickets. <laughs> but I still don't have the start. No, he doesn't have any tattoos. He has a scar down here near his stomach, past his hip. Cut himself with some glass. Mm. That was before, a long time ago. Glass. He looks just like the photo. Um, he's not got his glasses on here though. He takes them off for the camera. But he needs them to see properly. You know, he has to read a newspaper or a menu in a restaurant. Not look so much or watching TV. Word sided. A black coffee, thanks. No sugar. Sweet enough as it is. Nothing like this has ever happened to me before. Blood. It's probably the worst thing that's ever happened to me. Uh, I would stand by that. She was sat behind him. Oh, there we go. She had my wig on. And she'd been there all day. And she had blood on her. And she was in shock. Oh, I have the first line! Hell yeah. 1984. It was an awful year in the end. We were living at Doug and Eleanor's. I lost the baby at the end of spring and my parents died in the summer. It was a hot summer, a heat wave. So when they discovered the bodies, it was just awful. Because of the circumstances, them dying together like that, they brought in a lot of police. A forensic entomologist. I had to look that up. It was because of the heat. It was just awful. Can you imagine? Mm. I tried. I tried to get pregnant too, but it didn't happen. I slept with so many boys. Men. My body refused. I think my period stopped because hers had. I think it's just stress oh, girly. I mean, how could we stay the same now? I felt like Hannah had really fucked things up. Set us down separate paths. There was nothing wrong with being separate. We had become different. Yes. I speak with Eleanor at least once a day. Not that there's ever been much to say. It's more just. <laughs> huh. That was not coffee. That was not coffee. No. I've had enough coffee for today, thanks. Oh, you spilled the coffee Possibly. on yourself and then switched the shirt. I see. Coffee, I guess. Milk and sugar. Oh, milk and sugar. Look, on his clothes, that would make sense. He made it by hand. I mean, he brushes the silver onto the glass. That's not how they make mirrors these days. I mean, he made the mirror. And he gave it to me. Mm -hmm. Oh, something for fuck? No, I'm okay. Fuck. Aha! Uh -huh. It's like I told you before. I drove. I took the car and drove. I don't have my own car, but I have a spare set of keys. I just drove north. I wanted to think mm. for some space between me and them. Everything I told you before is true. Okay. I stopped at Glasgow. I was tired, exhausted. I pulled out and I hit a car. My car was okay, but I was worried about the baby, so I went to A&E to get the okay. Everything was fine. I slept in the car. When I woke, I tried to call Hannah from a paper and she wasn't answering. And then I decided to drive back. I had decided that she was more important to me than Simon. <laughs> Fine. I've never had my fingerprints taken before. 
I once put my hand on the oven. Could have done that in the first South Africa. Maybe my Africa. parents' fingerprints. I'm not sure how long they last for, but is that possible? Oh, because it's your sister's fingerprints. Yes, there's a different really? fingerprints. Go on then. Take the cup. Run your fingerprints. They'll match. Be angry. Yes, I understand my rights. No, I don't need a lawyer. Aha! Uh -huh. I think it was that time, the first time, at the house, in his bed, that I got pregnant. Oh no! And they say lightning doesn't strike twice. <laughs> I didn't tell him. I missed three periods. I have pity on regular periods anyway, but three? I had always thought we were infertile. Both of us. You can get pregnant. I didn't tell him. I just waited. Hannah and I were meeting for our birthday and I told her because I thought she would be happy for us both. I think she was. Oh God. Sucks, bro. Ah. Uh, oh. <laughs> when she went home, Sam had a birthday tea waiting. Afterwards, she told Simon about me, told him I was pregnant. She wanted me to move in with them, this sister he didn't know she had. Oh! She knew that instant. Oh! The look on his face. Oh no! She knew. Oh no! That's how she found out? She sent him out of the house, kicked him out called me up crying and I went round. I guess I had a feeling I could hear something was wrong in her voice, but I wasn't sure what it was. Did she slap you? She called me sister on the phone. She never calls me that. Oh, that's probably the problem, honey. So you want to eliminate me as a suspect? Um, well, we tried to. You tried. We, they really did. That should eliminate me as a suspect. If I was in Glasgow, can't be in two places at once. You can if you have a twin, apparently. This is the third day running you've called me in. I speak to Doug and Eleanor every day. And they say you've been asking a lot of questions. Of course. About me. Should I be worried? Uh. Am I a suspect? Oh God, how close am I? I still don't- <laughs> What? <laughs> okay, that's it. I'm gonna Google words. Uh, give me a second. Oh, tattoo. I've never done tattoo. Oh, my tattoo. <laughs> I got it to express my individuality. It's an apple and a snake. Just the one sugar. Thanks. Is that kind of recording? Yes. Is that camera recording? Oh. Yes. Funeral. It was a cremation. For the best. We both wore black and had bail, so it was easy. And after the funeral, everyone came back to the house. Hannah served up sandwiches. And I stayed out of sight. No. No, he wasn't wearing his wedding ring. Dude. What a fucking... Horrible man. Oh! Yes. Oh? Uh -huh.
Yes. <laughs> Is this all just her saying yes? I didn't think about writing that. <laughs> no. Oh, that was it! That was all fucking the lie detector! That's so funny. No. I have never been unfaithful. I've never cheated on Simon. Yeah, you haven't. But you're... Simon did! Have I ever cheated on Simon? You asked that question yesterday. Um, no. No, I don't think it was. I turned the key, but it was already unlocked. And... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven more, guys. We could do this. This is just me. This is this is why am I doing this? Then she told me she wanted to help more. She said I should move in with her. She would come clean with Simon about me. I was family. I couldn't have a baby in a bed set. I told her I didn't want to tell Simon. Told her to wait for the time being. Oh, this wouldn't have happened if you cheated. You didn't. If none of this would have happened. I don't know if anyone really changes. You just become more yourself. Oh, interesting. Simon was my prince. And that hasn't changed. If you put me on, you've been framed. <laughs> I want the money. Ooh, money. Well, I don't know. I probably had to pop out and get something, that's why I was speeding. And that wouldn't have been noted on my timesheet. But I really can't remember back to February. And there we go. We have the whole fucking story. Only took me two hours and 19 minutes for this episode to do all of that. I don't even know if I'm gonna p put this video out. Who knows, bro? <laughs> you guys know the story. Wow, that was a lot of looking. Oh my god, that took forever. I did it! Oh, no, sorry. I actually have to do the final. Yes. Good, so you think you understand why your mother did what she did. Uh... Your... Yeah. I'm go oh, you're Sarah. Oh. Good job. Woo! I'll probably uh, if I don't. I mean, oh. I don't know why I literally- It was Sarah the whole time. We were Sarah, we're her mom. I don't know why police lights and stuff are shining, but... That's crazy! That's a crazy ass story! So, they're twins? I think they're twins. I- I- Or it could be a mental, like, um... Like, is it's all her? I just, I just, like, a, like, DID? I don't know, though, if... I, I, I don't know if that explains all the... No, no, I don't know if that explains all the dots. Like, if it were twins, I don't know how they could have done that, but I don't know how one could be pregnant and the other can't be pregnant if they had a mental thing. So I just feel like it makes more sense if they were, if they were pregnant. If, no, if they were, like, separate twins. I mean, they, they ha created a very plausible story for it, but it could also be that she's just fucking delusional, and she just made a whole, two whole different stories to make the events in her life make sense. I just... I decided, I, I just, I just don't understand several, several parts of, like, she popped the cherry. Oh, man. Anyway, uh, that was super cool. I enjoyed it a lot. Um, her, I, I actually had fun even if I was going a little crazy in the end. Um, I think these kind of stories are pretty fun. So that's why I tend to get, I tend to get really into these kind of things because I have the urge to solve everything. Um, so anyway, guys, uh, 
that's her story. Um, I kind of, I think I got the story down in the, the last part where it's just like, um, twins st happen, stuff happen. Um, she got pregnant. Uh, she killed him. Uh, Hannah is dead. Hannah either committed suicide or Hannah disappeared in a way. I'm per I, my personal opinion, I feel like this is this is this. It feels like it makes sense if it's legit, but I also don't. I only have her story, you know. I don't have any other story. I don't have a third person view. I don't have Florence to tell me, oh, I didn't kidnap anyone. I don't have their parents to tell me that they originally had twins or anything like that. There is no one here that can correlate her story. Because Hannah, she can't appear in the same room as Hannah anymore. Unless they found her body. So, uh, anyway, that's her story. This is a super good story. <laughs> it was super fun. Um, very interesting. I loved it. I was so invested. Um, and then I will see you guys next time. Bye. Love you.